Well, hi there, guys. Today I got this Raspberry Pi case and Raspberry Pi touchscreen from AliExpress, and I want to show you how it looks like and to guide you on how to set it up and how to install the firmware for it. Well, so let's start. As you can see, the case came broken, so I had to tape it. I actually did it pretty well. It's it's nice and firm now, but I dislike the, the fact that it came broken. The screen is 3.5 inch, so it's rather small, but it's the size of Raspberry Pi, so it's actually okay. I also got a pen. Now turn it on, and then I'll explain you how to set it up. The screen actually has low refresh rate, so when things are happening too fast you can't see them all. But it's actually not a big deal because it's only happening on the startup. And once it is booted you will see the screen. Did I click it or did I not? Let's do it again. Now I did. As you can see the refresh rate is low so... We will have to deal with loading the segments but... It's actually not bad, it's working nice. The only thing that bothers me is that the terminal is not the size of the screen, but it's bigger, so you have to move it. But it's actually not a big problem. I bought this case because I wanted to put it under my computer screen and to do some cron jobs and I don't know, just take a look from time to time to see if they're working properly or maybe do some other things while I'm working on my computer. And now for the setup part. Well as you can see this box is like an IKEA furniture so you just have to put it together like a puzzle and when you do it on top of that comes the screen. In order to be able to boot and to use the screen you will have to download the special ISO file which contains the Raspbian operating system which has the drivers for this screen so I will put the link in the description and you will just have to flash it with Win32 disk imager when you have finished doing that you just put it in your Raspberry Pi and boot it it's actually that simple I'm not connected to the internet, as you can see, nothing is inserted there. I do not have keyboard or mouse, so I'm just showing you how the screen works. I probably won't be able to use browser, yes. But it's but it's loads, so... As you can see, here's the file manager. I actually do not recommend you to use this screen for everyday use because it's not comfortable to use it every day. But for some small projects or for checking it from time to time, it's great, it's cheap. I paid for all this only $13 American dollars, so it's really cheap. I'm satisfied, but since it came broken, I can't be 100% satisfied, but I am satisfied. As you could see, it's working great. Refresh rate is low, but not a big deal. It's easy to set up, you will see when you try it, so... 
I hope I help you. See you next time.